Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to light up your scenes using the emission materials or uh, luminance materials. Uh, so I'm not going to be using any lights and uh, the advantage of using uh, luminance materials is uh, it's actually a lot quicker. Uh, so let me just uh, demonstrate and you can see what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's create a quick plane. And uh, for the overall scene I just have a basic cube, uh, sphere and the floor setup and uh, a camera. Uh, this is going to be our first light source, so let me just make this smaller. Uh, let's put it overhead. And let's create our first luminous material. Turn off color, turn off uh, reflectance. Uh, let's uh, turn on luminance. Let's give it a little bit of color, maybe 15% uh, purple. And it's going to be set to 100%. Uh, let's apply it to our plane. And as you can see, it's already working. Now let's click on render settings and make sure your global illumination is turned on. Uh, so for quick results, let's do uh, Eridan's cache, uh, light mapping. Let's do uh, 2 for gamma, 32 for maximum depth. Set your light mapping to 8000 path count. And also if you want, you can turn on ambient occlusion and, it, and I did it here uh, for 75% or 75 centimeters maximum ray depth. And let's give it a quick render just to see what it looks like. So as you can see guys, the render just finished and this is what it looks like. Uh, we, we're getting nice and soft shadows around our objects and it took about 28 seconds. Uh, so now let's set up more lights. Uh, so this was our overhead. So let's actually move it closer. And now let's duplicate this one, turn it around, and make it a little bit smaller. Let's actually go to the side view here and Let's move this in here and duplicate it to the other side. Rotate it 90. It doesn't have to be 90. Maybe put it here. Uh, let's jump out and let's create a couple more materials. So for the next light, for the next light source, uh, we're going to have a yellow color, so 50%. Let's apply it to the left one. And let's do one more. Turn, turn these off, turn this on, let's do a blue color, 15% blue. And now uh, to make sure uh, you know we have a dominant light source in the scene, uh, let's take for example the, uh, the right side, which is the light blue material, and crank up the brightness to about 200. And now let's give it a quick render and uh, see what that looks like. So as you can see guys, even though we added three more lights or uh, two more lights, uh, we still have the same uh, render time, which is 28 seconds. And uh, we'll, we're going to do the same thing with lights and uh, you will see that render times will increase with each light. Uh, let's jump out of the camera. And a couple of other things you can do with the emission materials or luminance materials. You can actually plug in different noises and uh, textures inside instead of using uh, the pure color. Uh, so let's do, let me show you that next real quick. So for the overhead, we're going to be using the image texture. So let's right click, load image, and let's just load up, uh, you know, one of these textures in here, wavy uh, turbulence textures. Click no. As you can see, uh, we're getting the result right away. Uh, and here we can right click or uh, click on this little arrow, uh, go to filter. Uh, we can go inside here. And you can click colorize, increase the saturation all the way. And now let's pick a color. So maybe let's do like a green color here. And let's just increase the contrast a little bit. Or actually what we can do is turn on the uh, curves. And by holding control, add uh, the handles here and just increase the contrast in between the two colors. Uh, so something like this. And inside the illumination tab, this is where you control how bright this texture is going to be. Uh, let's crank this up to 400. And let's do maybe 200 saturation. Uh, so for the left side, we use the uh, image texture. Uh, for top, we're using basic color. And for the right side, let's, uh, let's go in here. And let's plug in noise. Go inside the noise. Uh, let's pick, for example, way we turbulence. Uh, let's increase the global scale to about 500. 
and now let's high clip it so we have uh, the difference between values so we'll do 80 here and then low clip to maybe 30 and in here we can change the colors as well so maybe let's do um, a yellow color so maybe 60 percent instead of white and for the black we'll do a uh, kind of like a dark red color so something like this uh, so the on the right side we have uh, noise cinema 4d noise on the left side we have image texture and on top we have uh, just a basic color and uh, for the noise we have to do the same thing in here uh, crank up the strength and saturation so we can generate more or more light uh, from the texture and now let's give it a quick render and uh, look at our render times so as you can see guys the render just finished we're getting really different results in terms of color around uh, our objects here and uh, the render time only increased by two seconds and the difference between using lights and using emission materials as like I showed you here you can plug in different textures you can plug in uh, images AGRI images you can plug in noises and all kinds of stuff and make uh, your lights out of them and now let's do a comparison I'm gonna delete all the planes here and I'm gonna do the same thing with lights using standard area lights and let's just change up the color to 15% um, yellow here and uh, this is going to be our first light so let's turn this around put it to the side angle it down maybe something like this and uh, let's turn on area shadows and of course you have to turn on the inverse squared um, fall off so this is going to be our first light uh, now let's go to the front view and duplicate this turn this around uh, for the second light we're going to do for example a green color and let's duplicate this one more time and this is going to be our overhead light and for this one let's do like a red color if we jump out into our scene as you can see we have three lights uh, same setup as we had with the emission materials so now let's give it a quick render and uh, see how long this will take instead of using uh, the emission materials and I'm gonna leave my global illumination settings set to the same thing so let me just bring in a camera in here position it right about here and let's give it a quick render and see how long it will take so as you can see guys the render just finished uh, we're getting little, little weird out effects in here I don't know why uh, but it took about 44 seconds with three lights and if we go back to our uh, mission materials it was 28 one uh, one plane uh, 28 for three planes and then 30 seconds with three planes and different textures and using three lights with area shadows it took 44 seconds uh, so if you if you do try to use uh, planes instead of lights it's a nice and dirty way of uh, lighting up your scene uh, maybe it's not the best and doesn't give you the cleanest result uh, but it does give you nice and soft shadows and sometimes actually quicker than using lights anyway guys thank you for watching uh, hopefully this video helped you in any way uh, please subscribe and as always uh, have a nice day uh, goodbye